is Brandy from 1011 Furnishings and today this video is all about a side table that I picked up from Goodwill and I named this project the pink print because it was basically a pink leopard print table <laughs> and I imagine that this table was probably in a little girl's room she probably outgrew it they took it to Goodwill I saw it and I said that this table could really use a makeover so um, watch to the end and let me know what you think. Thank you. So to start, we have the pink print table. We're going to turn this into a beautiful rustic glam side table. Okay, so to start, I am using the color Parisian Gray. And I wanted to do a test spot first. So I'm just painting um, two spots on the front of this table just to see how I like the color and then I'm going to go ahead and remove the hardware. So I went ahead to remove the hardware. When I'm done, I'm just going to sit that aside and continue painting the rest of the table. As I go on to paint the rest of the dresser, I'm realizing that this gray has a deep blue undertone that I did not realize before I put this on. So I thought I liked this color, but as I'm painting, I'm starting to realize that this is definitely not the color I was looking for. But, you know, I was trying to convince myself that I like this color and it just was not working out for me. And I've also been experimenting with mixing colors. So I went ahead and mixed this color since I didn't have the gray that I usually use on hand. And I got this gray, which is really, really close to the castle gray that I normally use. And you really got to see these two colors side by side to see how blue that Parisian gray is. And my eyes must have been truly playing tricks on me because that Parisian gray did not look as blue as it does even when I did the first test coat to see if I liked the color, it still didn't look as blue as it does now compared side by side. And now that I have a color that I really like, I'm gonna go ahead and do the first coat all over the whole table. After the first coat dried, I just looked at the table. I saw a few drip marks, so I went ahead and grabbed a piece of sandpaper and I'm just sanding those drip marks out. I am going to be putting new hardware on this table, so I'm filling the old hardware holes in with some plastic wood. When you're filling the holes in, you really wanna overfill it with the product, so that way when it dries, you'll have something to sand off. As that dries, I'm moving on to the next crucial part, and that is measuring for the new hardware. You want to make sure that your measurements are exact. As you can see here, I'm also breaking chopsticks in half for my little cousin. <laughs> but you really want to make sure that you get the measurements right the first time because you don't want to have to do this step twice. Believe me, I know from experience. Depending on the hardware, you may have to fill the holes again, let that dry, sand it, drill new holes. It's a lot, you don't wanna do it twice. Now on to the fun part of drilling the new holes. After that's done, I am going on to the second coat of paint on the body of the table, but since the plastic wood is still drying, I am gonna leave the, the drawers alone for the table. Now 
now the second coat of paint and the plastic wood is dry so I'm going ahead and sanding the drawers this is going to provide a nice smooth finish for the second coat of paint on the drawers wipe that down and everything should be smooth to the touch and now you're ready to go ahead and paint the front of the drawers Typically, if you just wanted a nice, clean, matte finish, this would be your last step after the paint dries. You would just have to add a sealer. But you guys know I like to, for my projects to have a nice weathered, rustic, glam look. So I'm going to take it a step further and do a light dry brushing in the color white. Now here I just have the cap of my paint bottle and I'm going to lightly tap. I don't want a lot of paint and I'm gonna basically take my napkin and dab all that paint out. I want the brush to basically be dry. I am doing super light strokes all over this table and you can slowly start to see the dry brush really create that weathered appearance that I'm going for. Now I did go ahead and add the hardware. I also did two coats of polyurethane on the top of this table and one coat on the base. And now we're done. Okay guys, so we went from the pink print table to this beautiful rustic glam table. It's perfect for your bedroom or your living room. I am so in love with this piece. I'm in love with all my pieces, honestly. <laughs> I don't want to sell anything. But, you know, don't forget to subscribe, comment, tell me what you think, and also follow 1011 Furnishings on Instagram.